Hi guys, how are you? This is Noelle from Rear Chats. So guys, I know I'm a little late, you know, keeping it real, keeping a hundred, keeping it funky as we say in New York. But um, look, better late than never. So finally, the video of the three R's, and I think no better timing because hello, 54321 is right around the corner, AKA New Year's Eve. So we wanna like get the clutter out. We want to get those those nation outs for our deductions. Um, and most importantly, do something that, you know, your trash might be another one's treasure and vice versa. And somebody else's trash might be your treasure. So that's the purpose of this video, guys. As I'm sure you saw, uh, we talked a little bit about it in one of our previous video uh, interview where we talked about closet organization with the woman for the woman of today, post-pandemic and even pre-pandemic. Um, but it was very relevant, especially post-pandemic. Well, sort of post-pandemic. Um, about, you know, really how to create a wardrobe that's relevant to our life now, right? Because everything is, hello, at home um, or virtual. Um, in our case, not so much uh, because we do have to physically go into people's homes or people's businesses to do what we do. But we have implemented much more uh, virtual sessions and we do offer it. So just FYI, if you do, we'll have a link below if you'd like to book a session with us. Um, and we can talk a little bit further about that. But Let's keep, just for the purposes of the vlog, um, just wanted to share our top six uh, organizations of where we like to, imp that we use a lot when we implement the three R's, which AKA, which is recycle, reuse, repurpose. Uh, there'll be a whole uh, link below on everything we talk about. And we've also quickly wanted to just share with you what our favorite um, vendors and non and profits that we like to use to implement those three R's and not just in home organization projects, but also in our business organization projects. Um, a lot of these are contactless, so it's perfect, especially in this time of year, but just in general. Um, and they offer a prepaid postage. So our first one is Thread Up. We personally have the app, highly recommend it. Again, we have it in our link tree, um, a link to be able that we, which they've so graciously uh, offered a oh, for us organizers a free closet cleanout kit so it's all contactless you can do it all through the app it's super easy you just you know click on the app you have your profile you can use the condition in your profile you can choose the condition of the items that you choose the clothing items of how you would like them meaning if you're okay with gently worn brand new or good um, so you can categorize how each type of clothing item of how your comfort level of how used you want that item to be or not used because they have a lot of brand new items. Um, but again, it's all contactless. It's all easy when you when you schedule to have them send you your closet clean out kit. It all comes to your door. To directly to your home or business and you fill it all up as much as possible um, again you want to be just conscious and I just say this just as a disclaimer because what I might consider to be okay to uh, resell may not be okay to for you or vice versa so just be cognizant that when you're sending something that if it's something that just for the purposes of you getting some type of monetary value or in this case a credit from thread up that it's something in good condition whether branded or not I will say though that things that are of brand do obviously get a higher um, have more higher traction in turn in sales and of course in value so if you have any of and they even take of course designer items so the better condition you know if you have the bag the lining everything send it all in they it goes to their center they evaluate and then it's uploaded to your profile so you can see it there items that you've donated um, in your kits and items that you've purchased and then they compare it uh, one to the other and you can choose to either purchase any items that you might have in your card or wish list which you can create or you can just use it as a credit um, when they sell those items so it all goes towards a credit um, towards the purchase of future items um, or even for gifts for people depending if you have a really good uh, friend that loves old things vintage because um, they have some great pieces I mean we got this this was one of those new items um, that we got and this is from I want to say Jessica Simpsons or BCBG can't remember um but anyways this is one of those literally it was with the tag on loved it it was like 10 bucks or something like that um thread up and again we'll include the link you can see it it's our top number one here number two one of our personal favorites it's souls for souls 
also Contactless. It's a great organization. They've been around for a very long time. We've used them even before Rio You Inc. or definitely the vlog. This vlog was even a thought process. Um, they are a non for profit that um, collect uh, re uh, gently worn shoes, aka why it's souls for souls, um, and then give it to those around the world or even within the country that have a need for those shoes. Um, of course, they clean them, and that I'm sure in this day of age, they have their own processes and sanitation that they do um, with those shoes. But of course, just as a, I'm a big advocate that you never want to give something to someone that you yourself wouldn't wear. wear. So I personally, and I do this even for clients when I've used, ship them stuff in mass quantities for Souls for Souls. If they're dusty or if it's just something that, you know, we clean it off, make sure it's in good condition when you send it off. Um, they do accept children's, of course, men's and women's. Um, a shoe, so it's a fantastic organization. They'll send you a prepaid label, UPS, very easy. Again, it's our number two, and we'll include the link below. It'll also be on all our social media, everything that we're talking about, as well as in the description. Our third one is Housing Works, another personal favorite of ours. Um, they are not virtual. Um, contact list. They have several locations throughout the greater New York, uh, greater New York City area. Um, we actually, just as a little tip, have purchased their several items. They are my absolute favorite, and for many interior designers, they're very reputable. Our friends um, and former colleagues, um, and colleagues, excuse me, of Decor NYC were on the board. I don't know if they still are, Bruce Tilly, and he is. You know, he's donated several, several pieces. Um, you know, throughout the 10, almost 11 years, 10 years that he had to corn YC. And he was one of the ones that recommended us Housing Works. And I have been a fan ever since. Um, and it's a fantastic, fantastic, beautiful, I mean, it's like the thrift shops of the thrift shop. It's the Bergdorf Goodman of thrift shops, personally. I mean, the, the interior designers go there when they want like, let me just check out these interesting pieces. Um, or even a lot of um, stylists go there. Um, so highly recommend housing works for all home goods as well as clothing item. And I mean, and you want fashion and vintage. That's one of the places that's one of New York city's little gems. Um, I, I'll have to share, like if you go into our Instagram at a later time, post this, um, and you can comment, I'll, I'll, we'll share a picture at a later time of some great clutches that we've got that we've gone there from Halston to Jean-Paul Gaultier etc. at a bargain price. And I mean original darlings, not knockoffs. Um, just absolutely beautiful. Um, and so, yeah, so they're great. And they benefit um, and, and AIDS and, and homelessness for the LGBTQ plus community. So they do a lot of community outreach to educate um, people about AIDS and HIV um, within the LGBTQ plus community. It's a beautiful organization. It's very dear to our hearts. Um, since we have a lot of friends within the community, or just in general, it's just it's just a beautiful organization. I think what they do and their window displays again are like they're the Bedforting uh, Bergdorf Goodman of uh, windows of thrift shops, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, their displays are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, they have a great blog, which I highly recommend you to check out. Follow them on Instagram. They also have an auction. They do do an auction for a lot of their higher end items um, and vintage pieces. So that they do do contactless. I'm sure if you have, oh, and they do do pickups. I'm not sure exactly of how in advance you have to. In my case, I've used them for years to donate furniture of all um, of all branded and non branded um, and special pieces throughout the years, and we've always done a drop off. Um, but I'm sure if, again, I've seen the trucks, I know they have them, um, you know, in our three R's, in our highlights, in our social media, you'll definitely see us have them posted in the past. So they're one to check out. With that, we have number four, which is one actually a client, um, our clients, uh, Anchor Group and Kevin Howell and his team um, recommend, uh, introduced us to, and they're again at Brooklyn Commons, right behind the working space, and they're called Well Clothed. They're a black owned um, women-owned uh, grassroots organization uh, focusing on upcycle clothing. Um, love it, love it, love it. Serving the Brooklyn community. Um, and they have donated so far, which I think by the time this video comes out, probably more than 3,000, but at the time, uh, over 3,000 pounds of clothing for those in need. 
Um, they do accept clothing uh, for grown-ups and adults of all ages and unused toiletries. They are a beautiful organization. I've seen the ladies at work with volunteers. Um, I know they do a lot of things with non-for-profits, but what I loved about them is that they're like the, like, on demand. They're like the news of, like, you know, clothing. Oh, my God, there is a... You know, God forbid, there's a building that burned yet yeah, last night. There they go. They go. Who needs clothes? Um, you know, they're that they're the the, the news, <laughs> the news channel of you know clothing, of of grassroots like clothing and, and drop offs and, and organizations. It's like an immediate, um, and that's really one of their focuses, right? To be the 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 person, the, the non for profit that provides that immediate need for clothing. Um, I know I've mentioned that every of the one of these organizations is my favorite. This one's another one in addition to Souls for Souls that I've used for years, 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 and continue to use. Um, NYC Materials for the Arts at MFTANYC, and again, we'll include. They are located in Long Island City. They do do pickups, but I believe it has to be of large quantities. And what they, what I love about them, well, several things, is that they gather supplies and scraps, and I mean. You want to talk about they'll accept anything as long as it's not perishable um and except for when it comes to electronics they do have to be functional and they are amazing they use it for public schools um art programs in public schools um as well as you know non-for-profits artists can go in there and if they're looking for scraps or for supplies um there's just a beautiful it's a huge warehouse i mean talk about organization if you go to this warehouse it is like absolutely stunning at a later time we'll check we'll definitely pay a visit just for like take our camera in there just for people can really see it's so organized i mean it is like i mean apart from the element it is like this massive warehouse in long island city and it's like all the electronics are in one section whatever project you're working that you may need a functioning or non-functioning monitor there it is you know, if you have, you know, 500 midi blinds brand new that you don't need, um, there you go. There's like, you know, these huge canvas stacks and shelves and they're all organized by color, etc. Um, you know, it's just, it's just beautifully, beautifully done. Um, at least from the last times that I've been there. And then the final and six on this list is Give Back Box. I was also introduced to them through some of our social media. What it is, it's they, you collect your box, meaning your Amazon box, especially as we're coming out of uh, the holidays. You take your Amazon item, your Amazon box, and you fill it up with um, gently used clothing. Um, and uh, also they provide a prepaid label. Um, most of these, especially all the contact list ones that I've just mentioned, they all provide a prepaid label. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to pay for shipping. I have to do this. I personally haven't used Give Back Box, but I see people have mixed reviews about it. Um, but both, overall, I love their, their whole concept, and they really are big advocates of using that Give Back Box. So their concept is you get a box, you give a box. You get a box, you give a box. Um, and since we just came out of Christmas last week, guys, we should have lots of boxes in our recycling bin. So pull those babies out, and let's let's get the organizing. Come on, come on, five, four, three, two, one. Um, is ready and they accept like I said uh, clothing um, and gently used home decor and also unused toiletries and shoes um, for all of ages and they benefit locals a variety of uh, US local charities so that's pretty much it guys our top six um, actually common tops not just top six are only six at the moment on non for profits that we uh, tend to or go to that we've, except for, like I said, a number six, we have yet to use them, but we have lots of clients and colleagues that have used them throughout the years and they've had, they, they love them. Um, but again, most importantly, you know, it's all about, like I said, somebody else's treasure can be somebody else's, uh, trash can be somebody else's treasure and vice versa. Um, you know, let's start 22. It's always great not to just do it throughout the end of the year, but since it's kind of a tradition, take the end of the year to really clean out. We ourselves are doing that. I mean, if we were to turn this camera, you'd see like our desk is literally high mount high with things to get to, 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 to send to give back box, to Amazon, to this, to that, to donate, to keep, to toss, to register. 
So we ourselves are practicing what we are preaching in this video. So trust me, the organizers are far from perfect. That's why we say this is an organic vlog talking about all things organized with a network of friends and colleagues of a variety of industries focusing on the topic of organizations. So like we say here, guys, stay safe, stay strong, but most importantly, stay organized. Bye.